Have you got a Minecraft world where you claim to have built every single farm? Well, think again. Hello people, Jaffa here and welcome to another Pointless Farm video. Yes, yes, I know it's been quite a while. Today we are going to be looking at goat horns. Unlike most mob drops, you don't actually gain the item from killing the goats. For goat horns, you have to have a specific technique, and today I'll be showing you a setup of how to get them automatically. But first off, let's talk about the goats themselves. As you can see, goats can jump really high. Also, you might want to be quite wary of them, especially while standing still. Ow. They can ram you and it packs quite a punch, so be wary, especially if you are near any cliffs. So like with most of the other non-hostile mobs, the goats can be lured and bred, and these guys, they like wheat. No, oh. Just to warn you, the babies can also ram. Heard of goat's milk? Well, you can get it in Minecraft. It has exactly the same properties as cow's milk would. Goats can be put on a lead and also put in a boat, two of them. So goats can be found in specific mountain biomes such as icy peaks and snowy slopes. And there are actually two types of goats, the regular goats and screaming goats. So there are eight specific goat horns that you can collect. These include ponder, sing, Seek Which may sound a little familiar Feel Admire Call Yearn and dream. Got a favourite? Leave your answer in the comment section. So the first four that I mentioned there are obtained by regular goats and the second four are obtained by screaming goats. When looking for goats there is only a 2% chance that the goats that you will find are screaming goats. However if you're struggling to find any you can get them through breeding. Again Breeding the regular goats, there is a 2% chance that they will breed a screaming goat. Then, if you breed a screaming goat with a regular goat, there is a 50% chance that the baby will be a screaming goat. And if you breed a screaming goat with a screaming goat, it's a 100% chance. With me so far? Ow. I think it's time I show you how to make the farm. So the farm that I'll be showing you today is just going to be a basic outline to give you rough guidelines of what you'll need to do to make your own version. So the way to gather the goat horns is the goats need to ram into a wall. However, the wall needs to be made of any of the specific blocks that are behind me. So we have stone, coal ore, iron ore, copper ore, emerald ore, any sort of log, or packed ice, or compressed ice as it is called now for whatever reason. Other items that you'll need to complete this farm include rails, powered rails, redstone torches, hopper minecarts, hoppers, chests, and you'll also need wheat to lure the goats there and to breed them. Last but not least, another item you'll need are armor stands. Okay, so first up, you want to get yourself a nice bit of flat land. I'd usually do this first part built into the ground. However, to show you more clearly, I've made a raised platform. I've just done a simple 14 by 15 area. You can get more complex with it, however we need to work on a collection system using the minecart hoppers. There's various ways we can do this. I however like using a little round circuit that covers the whole area and you just need one minecart hopper. So first off I'm going to set up a bit of a collection system area, which I will do in this corner. So I'll put a double chest there, put a hopper there. I've also added some extra hoppers. I've made it five because the hopper minecart can carry five items at once. So therefore, as it goes round, it'll drop off all five. If it is full, that is. I've also set up some extra double chests, put some hoppers underneath the main chest, so anything that goes into them 
will fall into these two. This means I can cover that chest back up and get started on my rails. So I'm going to start off making sure I shift click to place the rails on top of the hoppers and then I'm going to go right to the end, make a corner and carry on to the other very end and then I am going to snake all the way back to the beginning. And there we have it, a little circuit. However, we need to power the rail just to make sure the minecart can get all the way around. I'm going to do this by finding the middle spot, getting rid of the rail and digging two more down. And working all the way along that line. I'm then going to get some redstone torches, fill in the gap once again, and then I can place powered rails on top which with redstone torches underneath will be powering each of the rails. Just to make sure that this is enough power to get it round I am going to add powered rail at each side and you should have something that looks like so. Next thing we need to do is get the minecart hopper, put it on the track and give it a little push. Then you want to step out the way and just make sure it can go all the way around without any issues. While the minecart's doing its thing, we want to build a whole other layer on top of this, just like so. I will state for these parts you can use any block type as long as they are full blocks. Because this layer is going to be where the goats are at and they need to be on full blocks. If they're on blocks such as soul sand or mud, it will not work. And with the goats on this layer, we want to make sure that the walls are made of stone or any of the other blocks that I specified earlier. Okay so you want to make walls around it that are four blocks high. Using this fourth row we can use it as a roof because remember goats can jump pretty high and we don't want them escaping. Okay made a little box. Kind of dark though. That's a bit better. Next up we want the secret weapon which are armor stands. Place some of them in the corner and then we can just do a few around the sides. So goats will charge at armor stands. And because the goats charging aren't consistent enough, the armor stands never get broke. So therefore, it's just like having a player in here constantly that will never die. So next up, do you ever have it where you're trying to sprint and your shoulder catches the wall and you lose all your sprint? Well, I think goats work the same way. But instead of losing their sprint, they lose their horn. So running along the side, if they catch the wall enough, they're gonna stop sprinting. With this said, the farm seems to work better if you can keep most of the goats out of the middle. They like the space to charge, so if you can keep them against the walls, it seems to work better. So what I seem to do, place a few blocks around here and there, nothing against the sides. I usually do some too high. You can do some from the ceiling, make it a bit decorative. I usually do a lot of them too high because when you make the babies, they love to jump up here. And because they're just babies and haven't got any horns yet, we don't lose out at all because if they charge, it's not like we're going to gain anything. So this central area gives a chance for all the goats that have cooldown just to wander off and stay out of the way. Gives the children a nice little play area and all the ones around the side can do all the charging they need. Because this farm involves having to breed the goats, with it being realistic and the goats only being able to drop the two horns, you do have to constantly breed them and dispose of the hornless. However, if you do have any hornless screaming goats, I would recommend keeping them to breed up more screaming goats. Each horn from the same goat will play the same tune, so you want to breed up the goats as much as possible just to get all the variety of the horns. And to do this, I've made a little gap in the wall. I've removed some of the blocks, placed some slabs so I've got enough area to feed them through. However, the gap is so small that the babies can't fit through. And then I've stood on slabs just to get my height correct with where the goats will be. So this is another part I've recently been adding to my goat horn farms. I stole this concept from Liv Awesome. I'll put a link to her channel in the description. Go check her channel out. As her name suggests, she is awesome. But what it involves is adding another little extra room to the side, having some trap doors where you can use them to lay down and 
If we were to lay here in this very awkward, unflattering position, the goats will see you and they'll charge at you. However, because they are taller than one block, they will hit the head on the stone above. You can also use this area to walk in and breed all the goats. It's a more efficient way of doing it than actually using the slits that I mentioned before. And because we need to keep the stone clear, I've put the trapdoors at the side so you can do an awkward diagonal crawling. So, uh, I think that's everything. Oh wait, the goats! Okay, so I've got some goats in and I am gonna use this little hidey hole that Liv has suggested. Now we play the waiting game. Oh, went straight into my hand. Okay, so let's see how we're getting on. After running it for like five minutes, I've already got a mixture of horns. And it sounds like <laughs> I just had another snap off. And there we are, a working goat horn farm. Yes, it looks like an ugly stone cube. This is just an example of what's possible, just to show off the rules that you need to apply to make this farm work. But really you can decorate the outside how you like and you're not really limited with the shape or size. So that for those of you who are new to my channel, I play on a server called Arcadia. I've recently made a goat horn farm on there and I'll quickly show you how that one is different to this. Okay, so here I am in Arcadia at my goat horn farm. Built this farm into the side of a mountain. There was a little flat patch and I built the rest of it inwards. Got the same sort of collection system, minecart hopper going round and a little corner hopper system into chests. At one point I did have an issue with a minecart, so I used this trap door to slide in and go and give it a little push. So I've got a regular door here, which I close behind me. Then I've got these two trap doors, which I can crouch down and I can use the technique where they will charge at me from here. And same again, I've got the trap doors at the side so I can get back under here. From the look of it, these goats need breeding and sending on holiday because they're all have horns where have all the horns gone so i have two areas where i've got chests these are the sorted ones so i've got a chest full of the sings chest full of the ponders same for seek same for feel and i've had some screaming goats as well i've currently only got one of each because i have set up a goat horn shop and the rest of them are currently there. In my collection system, however, I still have lots of horns to sort through. Them goats really don't like the armor stands. And there's the screaming goat for you. <laughs> I do love the scream. Okay, so hopefully today I have covered everything you need to know about goats and goat horns. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Let me know how you get on with your goat horn farm. I'm curious how well the goat horns are gonna sell on this server. If you wanna find out for yourself, make sure you subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. And I'll see you when I see you. I have recently made my own goat farm. Ow. I have recently, ow.